swing in the faster water. So well, guys, day two, we're on the Madison River again today. We're fishing a spot lower, probably four or five miles lower than we were yesterday. The river here is pretty, pretty flat. Just a nice long riffle I'm starting. Just kind of picked a spot without much people parked there and decided to try it. But today, since it's the second day, I'm deciding to move around a little bit more. I'm gonna fish here a few hours and then maybe move up. But Yesterday did really good on dark colored patterns. So last night I tied up a bunch of like, darker stuff that are heavy. A lot of fish came on the top dropper. Dark small stuff yesterday. So I'm gonna start off with that and it seems to be working. I just got a white fish. But hopefully we get a little more trout today and a big brown. We only had one brown yesterday and everything else was rainbows. But starting off just nymphing, that's all it would work yesterday, just straight nymphing through drives for a while. But no luck on dries, but everything was on empty. Ah, uh, should be good though. Here we go, first fish of the day. Second day on the Madison, we're a little lower area compared to the, where we were yesterday. Looks like the first fish is a white fish. So yep, first fish is a white fish. Nice little whitey. Good fighters. Here we go, second fish finally. Small whitey. That's yeah, so a whitey number two, little guy. Here we go. So just switched on my leader, made it a little longer. It wasn't even touching fish. And only took one cast or maybe two casts with the new leader. Hooked into another fish. Another nice white fish.
There you go, another one. Another one. All it took was a little switch of a leader and so I went through here. I know there's fish, I just want to catch anything, so I have to switch up. Yeah, number three. Number four, actually. So yeah, very next cast, fish on. So it's actually going to recast. But like I said, I went through this maybe 10 minutes, nothing. Caught a couple here and there. I think I only got two. Oh, dropped them. Damn. But still, getting into them finally. Yeah, but one thing I've learned through the years is sometimes your leader might be longer than you need when you think you need it. And sometimes it's better to change leaders, leader lengths, before you actually change fly patterns. And that's what I've done today and it seems to work. It's a little difference. I must have just been a little short and not getting a couple things too is you're trying to get down, the river's really flowing hard, I have a four mil beat on, but you have to cast further up. So cast further up, lengthen your leader. And I actually went a size down on tip it. I've been fishing a lot of 5.5 just because of big fish. But I went to down to six to help him get down a little bit. And it seems to be working. So it got pretty slow for me for some reason. It hasn't been the best day so far. Still zero trout. Another whitefish, smaller one. Yeah, it seems like if I switch up my line, my leader, like like I said, yeah, I figured out that darker color patterns work and once I switch to it. I figured I kind of figure out my leader setup get into them but if not then I don't get into them. So another nice fish. Alright guys I'm gonna move up river. Maybe go three dollar bridge area just because only getting in the white there's no trout. I'm sure there's trout here, but just not getting into them. So yeah, we're gonna move up river again. Here we go, first fish, three dollar bridge area. So we moved locations and this is fishing maybe five minutes, but it's like a nice rainbow. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, come on over here. 
Yeah. Nice rainbow. First fish of the three law bridge area. Just took a really dark nymph. Sitting in pretty fast water. Fought pretty good. Here we go, another one. Oh, it came off. Here we go. Oh yeah, nice brown. Yeah, nice healthy brown. Yeah. Nice male. Sitting in the faster water. So we are about halfway, probably in the last two hours of our second day of fishing. And overall today actually it's been pretty tough. Um, not, not too much fish. I've caught maybe five or six at three on the bridge area. Just kind of working my way of nymphing. I've lost lost a few, some nice rainbows. I had the last one take me down river pretty hard, but overall, um, out of all the years I've been to Montana, all the times I've fished on the Madison, this today has been the slowest that it's ever been on here, but I guess it happens. So it's gonna keep fishing up, staying with the nymphs, the black, the dark, darker color of nymphs seems, seems to be working. I'm catching more trout at this location and compared to the other area I was catching mainly white fish so at least I'm into some trout would like a big 20 plus inch bow or brown before I leave so keep working so we can get a big fish on There we go, another little rainbow. Yeah, strong. Fighting good, not, not a giant, maybe 14 inch. Yes, yeah, so there's a rainbow, nice little rainbow. See, so yeah, I'm gonna finish my trip on the tailwater section between Quake and Hebgen. So when we are back fishing, we will be in, we'll be behind Hebgen Dam. Sorry, guys. This is the tailwater section on the Madison, and maybe. An hour left to fish, or looks like I got a little storm rolling in. But the very first time I ever fished in Madison was this section. So I always like to try and fish it every time I come up. Here we go, another rainbow. Looks like a little white fish. Another little white fish. 
Got a crazy caddis hatch going on right now. Just fishing the dam that's Hebgen Lake is on the other side of the dam. Got a little system blown in though, so might be a last few minutes of fishing. Here we go, another race, nice rainbow. Yeah. Go another rainbow. Nope, looks like white fish. Another whitey. So guys, we're gonna end my day here this is day two on the madison this is right now we're on the tailwater section or right now we're on the section right behind the dam but overall i would say it was a pretty tough day compared to days past i've had and even compared to yesterday um yeah i don't know maybe it's something i was doing with my nymphs but just didn't have the best day but i still caught fish caught a couple of nice fish lost a lot of fish too not as much well the first spot had a bunch of white fish. The second spot, <clears throat> more trout. This area, I caught, caught a little bit of both. Um, it's hoping to stay here longer, but it's starting to rain, and I'm on. I'm with my family on the trip, so got to go and do some family stuff tomorrow. I won't be able to fish, but yeah, it's a good trip. It's always good to get out here. It's a really pretty place. Uh, first time I was out here was in 2012. And I think it's only my third time back since then, so I don't, don't get to come here too often. But I was here for a uh, fly fishing comp, one of my first comps. It was only into my like maybe second year of competing, and we came out here and fished. But yeah, it's a good, good area. I like this place. Always a lot of fun. Yesterday fished well. A ton of fish. Um, today not so much. Like yesterday, I didn't even. It was good enough where I didn't have to record all the fish. Um, like I said, I lost my uh, I lost my my little piece to attach the GoPro to the chest pack, so I lost that. And today just didn't have it for some reason. Initially started out really good, and then after that it just got really slow. 